once again, once again for tuning in to Porsche Talk. It's me and it's motherfucking Fifi. What up, though? What up? What up? What up, though? What up? What up? What up, though? <laughs> anyway, we bringing you the 411 and the foolishness. So, we're on the street. Matt Burns has a new baby, y'all. What? Yeah. Him. Congratulations. Yes, him and his new girlfriend, Ananta Sims, something like that. Mm-hmm. The baby's name is Ashton Joseph Barnes. Oh, he sounds like he's going to be smart. Mm hmm The baby is 8 pounds, 13 ounces, 22.5 inches. Congratulations. Yes, congrats. He got him some extra coins, don't he, for, you know, so he's going to be able to do what he needs to get the baby extra things. They can ask for whatever he want. Did, what about what you see about them coins? He got extra coins, honey, because I heard in the streets. You know, <laughs> that, uh... <laughs> to the flow. Remember, um, a couple, like, a couple weeks ago, whatever, we had talked about the fact that, that he was going back after Gloria to get some of his child support reduced. Mm -hmm. So, he, um, won the case, and they reduced it, I think, maybe, like, $12,000 or something. So, mm -hmm. reduced it by $12,000, because before, he was paying $20,000, and now he is paying a total of $7,500 a month which equals out to be $3,750 per child. Mm -hmm. So my advice to Gloria is to go ahead and let Derek Fisher shoot the club up, bitch, and get you another baby so he can get you some more money. Yeah, that's because, the one with $1,200 um, he's saving. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many Hollywood bills you could pay with that with $7,000 because I heard in Hollywood, according to the streets, that it's pretty expensive. Now, if you was just living in the city of Detroit or something like that, then... <laughs> Fucking ball, and you can still be a paid looking bitch with seven thousand dollars. Maybe if you it's expensive here, too. depending. But I know damn well over there on the west coast that mm -hmm. that um seven thousand ain't gonna take you but to the third of the month. So you know, I bet y'all selling bananas for like three dollars a piece down there. Yes, yeah, so all That's I'm saying thing. is put something cute on, suck his dick from the back, and let Derek Fisher shoot the club up, baby, because. You need another another cash cow. And isn't it interesting AKA that he still has not married her though? Cuz. He know better. He said, fuck that shit. You see what this nigga going through. I'm just gonna keep on hitting. Why not break up with her? For what? She probably got some good cat. I'm what well, I'm gonna say this. Girls cause a good cat. I'm glad that Matt Barnes, which I don't know because I'm not living with him. But it seems to me, if he moved on, had another baby with a woman and stuff like that, it seems like he's not letting her stop what he has Absolutely not. And I think that's good. Because some men will be like, I'm done with all these bitches. They crazy, you know. So he's Girl, not Girl, he ain't about to do that. For what? For what? Because she was a rat. I told you these rat bitches. The wool is being pulled over people's eyes and they snatching it back so they can see it. You know what I'm saying? Her and her sister be doing that bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. The eyes of niggas who have been looking for rats are being circumcised and all the skin is being pulled <laughs> off and they can see these bitches now. They see them for who they is. I'm just telling you. That's the way it goes. What? Yes, I'm just telling you. Yeah. Mm -mm. So don't you know, this man and this woman, right? There we go. Abigail and Eve. It's like, uh, um, the man's name is Michael J. Fee. <laughs> Michael J. Fee. That's his name. And the girl's name is Amber L. F um, Frudenstein? Friedenstein? Something like that. Anyway, these two fools was riding from Arizona to Wyoming with some babies in the car, right? Two kids, ages 6 and 10 years old. And had them in the, and two, and some German Shepherds, girl, had them in the trunk. Had the kids in the trunk and the German Shepherds on the back seat for most of the time. Talking about it wasn't enough room for everybody to be in the car on the inside part. So they had to take turns with the German Shepherds, baby, and put them in the trunk of the car to ride this 900 mile ride to, um, to, to Wyoming from Arizona. What was, did they get a penalty or did they say in the story? Girl, so they pled guilty the other day to two counts of <laughs> child endangerment. Only two counts, right? And guess how much jail time they got? What, a day? 30 fucking days. They got 30 days in, in jail. Not in prison. They don't even, that ain't even time enough for them to get their paperwork together for them to be able to get commissary. And they in and out. Back to keeping these kids. Back to putting them back in the fucking trunk. They ain't say nothing about them taking the kids from them or nothing like that or so whatever. Exactly, they're not black. Basically. Duh. Duh. And I don't even think that these was um was Michael's kids because he's 63 and Amber is 31. So, so this is a sugar daddy? Girl, but the thing about it is Amber look like she is 
62. She, so she a meth addict? Face is a meth, baby. I don't know what the hell she is. I just know that they are crazy. I couldn't believe that. They didn't put these damn kids in the trunk. That's that taking that old dick. <coughs> He's shooting her up and making her And the old. worms went up to her brain. Because you know they said that old people give you worms. Mm -hmm. That's what my people said. Old people mentioning worms. Uh oh. So Peter is pissed off, right? Baby, let me Here we go you. with this. Can't say shit. So Peter is joining the petty crusade, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are saying that phrases like bring home the bacon are compatible. Like, just like saying racial slurs or um, being homophobic. Mm -hmm. So they was giving us some little, some phrases for us to say so that we don't get it misconstrued. And they telling us what we can say instead of saying things like bring home the bacon. We could say stuff like, instead of saying kill two <laughs> birds with one stone, we could say feed two birds with one scone. Ain't nobody about to remember that. They Ooh, said that, shit. uh... <laughs> Be the guinea pig, and it said they said instead of saying be the guinea pig, you can say be the test tube, and instead of saying be the dead horse, you can say feed a fed horse. <laughs> I'm sorry, bring home the bacon. They said instead of saying bring home the bacon, they say bring home the bagels. It say take the bull by the horns. It say take the flower by the thorns. You oh, excuse that. me. Let me pull out my motherfucking chart from PETA before I get yeah. to talking fuck so they said shit. get correct. Don't say that shit because okay. that's offensive and people be feeling fucked up. That's all to it. Quit saying it. And they said that basically with them doing all this, the word on the street is that people is getting sick of vegans because... No, oh, God. They said that vegans is just getting a little bit too petty. I believe it. Yeah. Listen, I, you know what? I'm, I love animals. I got two upstairs. One likes to howl. The thing about it is, um... Werewolf. <laughs> the thing about it is, y'all be taking this shit a little bit too motherfucking far. And that, that is true. You know, whatever your beliefs are, you don't want to wear fur, don't wear it. But bitch, don't come up to me putting no motherfucking paint on my coat because I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. Gonna bring don't you a tell leaf me coat. what to say because, bitch, I got freedom coat. of speech. A pine okay? cone coat. Don't do it. Don't do and I'm not pulling out no punk ass chart to have no motherfucking conversation. Yeah, they said that you could say stuff like um pull the pull the flower by the thorns. I th I'm, I, th I might try to use that one. Take take instead of saying take the bull by the horns, pull the flower by the horns. Go pull a turd out of an ass. Fuck you. Okay. Okay. Maybe not. I won't say that then. I'll just say something else. So, no. Oh my god. I'm excited. Don't you know Buju Bington? Ain't that how you say his name? Boju? Boju Bington? He was a reggae singer or whatever, right? And he went to jail like 10 years ago and he was a Grammy Award winning singer and he got out two months early. Welcome home to him. The streets is going crazy. He was the one, I think he used to, you, you know, used to be Zaga Zaga Zow and stuff like that. And That's probably um, Beanie Man, but okay. Well, yeah, you know, he was with one of them. But he, no, he, <laughs> so for real, he did like this video with, I saw him in some videos with Elephant Man and stuff. Now, I don't know, I was just too busy bopping, so I didn't really retain it, and plus I smoke weed, so it'd be fucking with me sometimes. But, oh um, my God. But I was excited about the fact that he was out because it just sound, it seemed like Jamaica was excited. And I like when Jamaica get excited because, you know, their concerts be lit, you know, and just, and they be, you be all in the concerts or whatever, and they be passing weed. Okay. All right, y'all. Thanks again once again for tuning in. Check you next time. Bye. <laughs> for you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porsche Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right. You'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.